coming with a real live another episode of book got me booked hey we got another story for you my dumb ass want to be in that oh, local town favorite town all the black colleges my dumb ass want to be out there and i want to go so i'm out there i start swimming and swallowing all through the alley come find out i run into my little brother on the bus he like man mama been staying out here for two years she had the hotel she got government control. She's the maintenance lady. Oh, really? So what I do, I go to the hotel room and get con reconnected with my mother and my little brother because I missed my siblings for a couple years due to me getting locked up in this town one hour. And now check this out. I get to the hotel and there's rocking and rolling. So what I do, I start rocking and rolling. Oh, my God. There was so many women in there. Oh, it was like you rent for the week. It's real popular. I hear the best rap. I always talk about these streets. When I get my own page, I'm going to start giving you visuality of these areas. But right now, I'm be local. But however, I got in that hotel room. I got the rocking and rolling. I ran into three women. They say, oh, we just ran away from our pimp in Cali. I said, damn, straight up. And they had their finances together. However, they came with an individual. I took him in. And this individual ended up stealing from me. So we whooped his ass. Kicked his ass up out the hotel, and now guess what? I'm the overseer over the women. And guess what? After three days later, I found out what they did for a living. And in the end, I got booked. Now this hour, I don't mind getting booked. I hate getting booked. But this hour, I had to get booked for something that I didn't even know was a charge. These individuals charged me with pimping. Pimping? That's a charge? Oh my God. Long story short, I got involved with them three women. Like I said, I was rocking and rolling. I was stacking my finances. I was eating good. I was blessing my mama, taking care of my little brother, aiding and assisting my family. But these young whores, because three days later they told me their career, that they actually sell their body for money. And my dumb ass was like, well, I, uh, it ain't my field, but... At the same hour, they need some aid, some protection, some assistance. So that's what I did. I protected them ladies. But one hour, they wanted to meet another female and add her to the bandwagon. And this female wasn't right. This female come suck up everything, then go back to the jake, say they see guns, drugs, they doing this, pipping, flipping, fo, you know, I end up getting booked. Made the news. My bomb was a million dollars. I never in my life knew it was a such charge called pimping. At the same hour, I stayed booked for six months. I got in that law library. I started reading. I went to one initial hearing, and I never was indicted. And they said, if you don't get indicted within 30 to 120 days, then the case should get dismissed. So I started fighting for that. I told the public pretender he didn't want to listen. But guess what? After two months of that mass incarceration, after 140 days, I was booked. But I got out. Even though I'm g the fuck up right now, wearing the coldest joints that don't even come out, I'm not booked right now. And I'm not glorifying about the hours I've been booked. But I'm going to give you a drawings, boy. Don't be around all these little ladies scraggling, talking about list crawlers, all oh, this. And you order them up. And folk, you know, you don't know if this sister is goddamn it underage or what. Your ass going to fuck around and get booked. So to get, be conscious, need no. When you want to play around and yeah, this sex game, yeah, she said, yeah, I get a couple of dollars. Oh, all I got to do is stand outside the room. Yeah, right. It's called white slavery. I got a man right now. I love him so much. They gave him a life for pimping. I didn't even know it was a charge. I caught it. I got booked, but I'm here in the physical. And yes, uh, I said, I got the foes on them doing well for myself. Not because of you fucks bothering me, but I'm just giving you another lesson on book. Stand to him with the G Persian. I did six months for that. It was old Pippin charge. And oh my God, the girl was underage. It was like a real episode. They kept my ass in there for six months. But I went in that law library. I studied and I got out that jam. All well. Peace and blessing to those who carry this message to the four corners of the universe. My life in the shot and get in tune with the general Persian. And yeah, it's hot out here. I'm sweating. I'm out.